Oh, what's the rush? Elaine's here. Elaine? That would be the same Elaine that you called Fishface. Toadhead, actually. Yeah, she's doing a treasure hunt with fantastic prizes. Probably a mobile phone or something. And I'm gonna win! Okay, give it to me straight. It's okay, I'll help you! No, 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 that's my gym kit. Elaine's been on a team building course. You know the type, log rolling, walking on hot coals. Please don't tell me she's going to be here all morning. No, all day. You'll be after a little peek at the prize now, would you? Of course not, Elaine. Ben and I can't wait. He's my partner. Oh, Tracy, I don't know. Ben doesn't live here. Elaine, you're the one who says we should mix with children from outside the dumping ground. How am I supposed to grow up normal? OK, but just this once. We are going to be the most fantastic double act. Totally unstoppable. For Ben and me, the prize is in the bag. Want to be on our team? Elaine's doing treasure hunt. Word is, she's loaded with prizes. Our team is boys only. You in? Yeah, great. <laughs> What about Tracy? <laughs> no problem. She's bound to be with the girly whirlies. <laughs> Tracy, will you be my partner? Sorry, Weed, me and Ben are already sorted. You can be with me, but I'm leader, OK? Ben, you are going to be in my team, right? <laughs> Sorry, I promise the lads I'll be with them. We're going to win. We're going to win. We thought you'd be with the girls. Of course I am. But the... I was just making sure you weren't going to get left out. Weed, let me just in. Just being that hurt. No, way. Get lost, Trace Speaker. We don't want you in our team. I won't want to be stuck with a couple of bogey brain amoebas like you anyway. Now, has each team got their list? Yes. And has everyone got their boxes? Yes. Good. Now, the first round is to find the biggest leaf. Have you got that, Maxie? The biggest leaf. What's the prize? What's the prize? Ah, oh, we'll just have to wait and see. Right. May the best team win. Not playing. I just had a treasure hunt for a big fat yawn. Mm, wouldn't catch me joining in either. I'm just gonna take a peek, see what's going on. No, Ryan, that one over there. Work together nicely, everyone. I don't care. Wow, it's huge. What about the bird poop? Grab it with your sleeve. <laughs> well, I can't do it, can I? This is brand new. See, that's from two different trees. So, and I can see the sticky tape. Okay, right a bit. Uh, a bit more. Uh, just a bit more. Uh, oh, oh, didn't oh. quite that time. Peter and Max's is easily the largest. Yes, but this has a larger surface area. Elaine, you must be joking. Justine and Louise are the winners. Keep up the good work, treasure seekers. So who's winning then? Justine and Louise, apparently. I could have found a bigger leaf than them easily. How about we partner up and show them how it's done? I'd rather be buried up to my neck in cold custard, but thank you. Are you sure about that? You only want to join in so you can win and annoy Elaine. <gasps> That's rubbish! What about that fantastic prize? Shame to waste it on Justine. Hmm. Insect with the most legs? I don't know what it is, but you're wasting your time poking around here. <laughs> it's a good job I know all the best places for insects. It would be a tough bug who could get away from me. <laughs> That's nothing. We found a centipede. What's all this stuff, Louise? That's a little bed for him, and that's a little snack. I really wonder about you sometimes. So, where is it? Looks like he's packed his little suitcase and done a little run-up. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, you're in the lead so far. Peter Maxi, what have you found? Millipede. You're the winners! Yay! Well done, everyone. And the next round is the most interesting plant. Plant? Plant? No, 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 plant! Elaine, do something! <laughs> It's a Venus flytrap. It's carnivorous. Put this big pink one. Touch that flower and your mashed potatoes. It wasn't me! So, um, when was the last time you watered them? <sighs> We're gonna win this, lads. Make way! have an extremely rare Bigus Beakerus Maximus, found growing only in the wilds of the Himalayan mountains and propagated by the Tibetan monks. Well done, Tracy. Very inventive. Round goes to you. Yes! 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 You've been up close to see because you're working very well together. Now, the next round is the Bendius Twig. We had it first in your dreams. Hey, come to our fan. At least you've got the stick. disqualify them. Ref's decision stands. Now, as you've each won one round, we're going to need a tie break. Any ideas? How about the smelly sock? Yes! yes! Well, no, I, re I really don't think that that's... Please! Just for me! Oh, all right! Pizza. One pizza? Okay, a pizza. Come on. What if we get caught? Who dares wins? Right. What's going on? Oh, don't you go on at me. I've just had a bucket full from Jenny. What do you think you're doing in there, Tracy Beaker? Yes, and enough of your cheek too, miss. Thank you, Jenny. Justine? Hmm. Definite hint of pom. Have a wicker this alone. No. <coughs> Very good. Well done. <laughs> Tracy? Just 
borrowed it from a friend of mine. Well, I say a friend, not a friend exactly. And I discovered it rather than borrowed it in a totally amazing way. Leftovers. Oh, that is one smelly sock, Tracy. I, I, I think it's time I presented the prize. The overall winners are Tracy and Jenny. Yeah! something from today. Now, for the prize. Congratulations. <laughs> They're lovely, Tracy. Now you can do some pretty colouring. <laughs> well, actually, Justine, here, you have them. Call it Constellation Prize for being a prize cow. <laughs> oh, now, come on, oh, that lady. It's your fault, Justine. We could have won if we'd used my plant. Oh, come on now, girls. You were a super team. They were rubbish. They tried to steal our stick. Shame on rubbish! <laughs> <laughs> Treasure hunt, Elaine. Mustache Jenny's promised to take me out for a pizza. You can help you for the lunch. Gotta keep a promise. Too right. So I'll have a family-sized pizza with extra cheese, a mega gigantic slice of double chocolate cake, and several extremely humongous gut-rotting fizzy drinks. Tracy. Okay, okay. Forget the extra cheese. That was a pretty good day. Now watch this space. Tracy, a word, please. Just as long as it's not sorry. Yes, I know I'm back late, and no, I didn't do the washing up. Chew. Tracy, it's not about being late. Justine's been waiting ages for her dad to turn up, so I just rang him, and he said he left a message to cancel with a young girl. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I'm really sorry, Jenny. No, don't tell me. Tell Justine. She's in there giving her dad a hard time right now. You didn't leave a message. I would have got it otherwise. Well, who did you leave it with? <clears throat> dad, I'll call you back. You took that message, didn't you? I really, really totally forgot that your dad rang. I sort of got caught up. Sorry about that. Yeah, it was just a mistake. <laughs> yeah! Who's the mayor? Sci-fi exhibition tickets. I thought they'd sold out. The guy at school had a couple of spares, so I swapped them for my rollerblades. They're for tomorrow. Starts before 30. Oh, no, I gave up on the idea when I thought they'd sold out. And I signed up for a karate skills course instead. When for? Tomorrow, all day. So cancel it. After nagging Jenny for two weeks solid to let me go, she'd kill me. But where there's a Zack, there's always a way. Shh, quiet. What is that? Carrots and mixed veg? Yeah, they're good. Yeah, brilliant. Phil 
little bit dodgy, but the silly be down in a minute. Don't believe it. Tracy, look! What's the matter with you? Seen a ghost? She's coming. My mum's coming to visit me today. She's really coming at three o'clock. Jenny, my Jeep! Guess what? My mum's coming. She's coming today. Don't wait. Oh, Zach's just been so... <coughs> Come on, Tracy. Let's go and have a chat in my office. My Duke. OK, Zach, relax. Calm down. You'll feel much better. What is it with the whole diced carrots thing? Tracy, I just want to see the postcard. Why? She's coming at three and that's all you need to know. And you better do a good tea. She'll be used to something really fancy. Tracy, are you sure it's from your mum? I'm sure. I'm sorry, Zach, but it looks as if we're going to have to cancel your karate. Karate? I must go. Jenny will be angry. You let me worry about Jenny. Get some rest, OK? Suckers. Yes! <laughs> OK, the exhibition starts at 4.30, so all you've got to do is stage miraculous recovery by three. It's in the bag. <laughs> What's with you, Beaker? These are classy chocolates. My mum bought me crate loads of them from France to make up for missing my sports day again. When my mum arrives today, she'll bring me enough chocolate to fill my room. Your mum's coming today. Um, Tracy, this card is 100% hocus bogus. The handwriting's pretty good, but the postmark's been drawn in in pencil. It's OK. I know. Just wanted it to be true for a little bit longer. Someone set me up. No one messes with my mate Beaker and gets away with it. Come on. Getting slower, or they are getting quicker. You're right. We should assess this out hours ago. Okay, Duke. Action stations. Oh, sit down, Josh. You're making me jumpy. She's just excited about Tracy's mum coming. She's a big movie star. Wonder if she's been to the Oscars. Of course, she hasn't been to the Oscars. She's not even a movie star. It's all a lie. Just like this visit. I bet my necklace against anything you've got that she's not coming. Where's Tracy? Who cares? Uh, Justine, close the door, please. I need to speak to all of you. I want to check now, before it's too late. This postcard isn't one of you trying to play a cruel joke on Tracy. That's sick. Who would do that? I don't know. But if any of you know anything about it, my office door is always open for a private chat. Oh, sick. You look dreadful. Do I? I'm going down for some lunch. You better stay up here, too. You might have caught the bug. You could pass it on. But we thought that you two might be well enough to have something to eat up here. Great. What's for lunch? Roast beef, Yorkshire puddings, carrots, peas, gravy, and potatoes. Creamed, of course. Mm, of, of course. course. <laughs> but we thought you could have some fresh water and some crackers. Creamed, of course. Come in if you're ugly. What's going on, Justin? 
thing. You love that necklace. You'd never put it on the line unless you were sure. <laughs> Meaning? I think you put that card for Tracy in the post before I picked it up. I've had enough of this. Going to call Jenny? Go on then, call her. Better still, I'll go. Her office door is always open, remember? Okay, okay, but don't tell Jenny. Everyone will call you a snitch witch. You don't want that. No, I don't, but you got me into something much worse. Sort this out or I will. See, we all believe your mum is coming, but if she doesn't, well... She'll be here, and she'll probably be a treat to everyone. You'll see, she is coming, and she's a fantastically generous mum. about meeting you. Oh, but darling, how disappointing for them. I'm stuck in Paris. Stuck in Paris? Oh, no! And then I'm afraid Hollywood has just rung and asked me to fly there immediately. Hollywood, are you making a new film, Mum? Yes, it's called Beaker Gets Her Own Back with Justine Litwood as the arch villain. <laughs> oh, well, darling, moustache. The surprise is on the way. See you soon. Bye, Mum. Love you. You feeling better, Zach? No, terrible. Oh dear. Well, perhaps you could face this. Definitely. Gentlemen, let's talk vomit. To my darling Tracy, a little something for you and your friends. Love, Mum. Well, what's everyone waiting for? The French chocolates are on me. Oh, hey guys. How are you feeling, Zach? Yeah, much, much better, thanks, Jenny. Um, sorry about the karate. Oh, that's okay. I'm sorry you went well to go. Seeing as you've recovered so well, perhaps you can find a use for these. <laughs> <laughs> Go and get changed. I'll give you a lift in the minibus. You never know, there might even be time to grab a burger on the way. Thanks, Mike. Nice one. <laughs> What's going on? Tell you later. You won't believe it. You will not believe it. Here, these are for you. What'd you do, poison them? Why are you giving them to me? Because I forgot to tell you about your dad. Anyway, they're not from me, they're from my mum. Work bits. 